ringing in the new year here. If you want to ring it in with a delicious drink, we have a mixologist, all right, from Envy. Antonio Gonzalez has all the taste that can raise your spirits before the ball drops. Now, I have Antonio from the uh, Envy, the Envy inside the Ivy, correct, right? Correct, correct, yes. Okay, I want to get all these things straight here because I want to know where I'm going. Yeah, and that's, that's the place if you got to be. On, if I'm going on a New Year's Eve, I'm going with you. because I've, I've watched. I've watched you here. This, uh, I'm assuming, this, is there a beer going here? Uh, we can put a beer in there, but for a couple of drinks, you do want something that shows off the ingredients, and with a drink like that, you need the height and the levels and things like that, so that's why I brought that in. All right, show, let's, uh, let's show us your stuff. Here. Okay, um, today we're going to be doing several drinks. We're going to be doing everything's fresh ingredients. You know, we're going into fall. We're going into some of the new hot drinks, so we're going to put twists on a lot of things. We're going to do. We're going into what? We're going, we're, to, we're going, we're going into the fall? winter. You know, we're going into the winter. Well, that's what I thought maybe I worked all night last night. I just really woke up a little while ago. Um, I thought maybe I was in some sort of a time warp because that's generally the case. <laughs> but you've got ginger root we'll here. Ginger root. I mean, ginger. It's a, it's an energy drink. It fixes your stomach. You have a hangover. You have anything like that. This is going to be a virgin drink. It's going to get you energized for the day. I'm going to give that to you right now. We're going to get this going. All right, we're this is going to be a non-alcoholic one. Non-alcoholic oh, drink. Let's I mean, do you, that. you can have fun let's with do that. without that's alcohol. That's very exciting. It is. You know, it can be. So what I got here is I got uh, two ginger roots. Okay. And I'm just going to throw in just a little bit of soda water just to kind of get it, you know, um, emulsified and whatnot. Nothing okay. big. All right, just a touch. Yeah, just to kind of, we just want those juices to come out. And you're crushing uh, yeah, real, we're, we're I gonna mean. Yeah, we're going to muddle this. I mean, like I said, if, if you're going to be throwing a party, you don't want to go and get like some, you know, canned ginger or anything like that. You want to get the fresh real, ginger. You want the fresh thing. Don't eat my hand. Oh, no, me. I'm going to do that. That's all right. That's all right. I get, you know, that's why I serve my drinks. That's the way you like do it. Exactly. With, you know, just exactly like that with a finger in it. And Sometimes so, I'll serve them like this. <laughs> that's know? all yours, you know. That's right. But okay. And we're going to throw in, um, we're going to throw in half an ounce of lime juice. Okay. Um, a lime, a whole lime will give you an ounce. A whole lemon will give you an ounce. So you oh. just, that's a good way to judge what you're going to do. All right. We're going to throw in just a little bit of simple syrup, which is uh, sugar water. Simple syrup. Yeah, it's about a half ounce. Basically, you can make it at home. It's uh, two, ounce, uh, two cups of sugar to every cup of water. Keep it simple. Boil All it right. down. You're good to go. So we're just going to put those ingredients together real fast, nothing big. All right. Now, while you're making that one, though, you have all kinds of fruits out yeah. here. And I, I see pomegranates and blueberries. So you have a lot of fruit drinks. Um, I, I feel like on a party like this, if you're going to be throwing a, a New Year's party and you're going to have your friends and family over, you need to go all out. I mean, you, you need to show them that sure. you care. It's like making a fantastic dinner for somebody. You know, you don't okay. just want to, you know, go and buy these ingredients and just leave it alone. So we're all just right. going to dump that in there. And again, we're just going to top it with a little bit of soda water. Okay, we're in there. All and right. we're going to top it with a little bit of 7 Up. A little 7 Up. All right, now this isn't too sweet for me. No, no. The ginger's pretty bitter. So it it is bitter. And this is going to separate it, huh? It is. And we're just going to, you know, you got to always garnish. You got to make it look good. Yeah, that's right. The garnish is what the. No, I like to eat the garnish. Can there I you do go. That? That's, what, that's what we have it there for. All right, now this is the. This is a. It's going to. Non alcoholic. Gonna call, yeah, it's a non alcoholic ginger mojito. Oh, wow. So they, hey, that's really good. See, I mean, like I said, you can I'm have not kidding. Alcohol. Thank you. That's, uh, that's really delicious, and that's going to be good for my tummy. Good for the tummy. It's got the ginger in it. That's going to be for All the right, first give me, We've got a couple of minutes here to uh, go through a yeah. couple of other thoughts. Sure. Here, okay. Um, another drink that we did that this is probably one of my favorite drinks. It's called the Lucid Dream. A friend of mine, um, Jeff Lampkin, he came up with it about two the months lucid ago. The Lucid Dream. Yeah. Um, again, people need to realize that, you know, mint is big, but basil's starting to come out. Basil. So basil is becoming one of the new hot ingredients right now. So um, I don't know, man. I'm telling you, I don't know. I, I, you know, I've been a beer and a shot guy for a long time. I don't know. So I mean, it, and it, there's, there's go gonna be basil? a lot of flavors going all over the place. You want basil on me? So what we're gonna do is, you want to use a pear of vodka for this. Uh, today we're gonna be using goose pear. So again, we're just gonna put a little bit in there just to kind of. Is gray place. goose as good as everybody says? Is it? What's you know, it's, it's a personal preference. I mean, it's like wine. You know, people say that Merlot is the best. Some people say Pinot is the best. It's it's all in what you like. I can't say what's better and what's worse. Um, I myself, I have my favorite vodka. What's your favorite vodka? Well, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Chopin. Chopin is my favorite. Vodka. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's a uh, po is that? Uh, it's a potato vodka. Potato vodka. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Right. 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 So we don't want to do too much to it. We just kind of want to just get the oils out of it. Okay, out of the basil. Right. So now right. again, we're going to just throw the ice in it. Okay. What? Well, okay, because okay. we're. Uh, you are good at this. So this. we're going to throw an ounce and a quarter of goose. If you're designated driving that night, this is the one you want. And you're going to have fun with that. Drink. You are going to have. You fun. have Antonio make that up for you because this it, it really is very tasty. So we're going to do a, a quarter of an ounce of lime, uh, lemon juice this time. Okay, we're we're, we're uh, just about out of time right okay. now, but everything looks so good, and uh, Antonio can mix all these up for you at the NV Nightclub in the Ivy Hotel down there on F Street. You see it. You can go to ivyhotel.com and see all the rest of the things that Antonio makes. You're pretty good at this. Take you a long time? Uh, 
Ten years. Ten years. <laughs> oh, see? A man with ten years' experience behind him. You can go to fox6.com for more info, too. And if your small business wants to grow into a big business, that, and business this new year, too, then you should know about protecting yourself. We have an expert coming up with all the answers. All right, but first, we're going to hear from Denzel Washington, coming up next on San Diego Living.